This is a very serious situation to have a dog like Molly confined for the past 10 years. It's urgent that I get to the bottom of this to get this family and their pack back on track. <laughs> Hi, Caesar. Thank you for inviting Come me. Come on in. Thank Come you, thank you, thank in. you. Beautiful. Feels like home. Thank you. Yes. Well, let's go see Molly. Let's see, let's see. I need to assess Molly right away. This dog has been locked up for 10 years, so we have no time to waste. This is Molly. Yeah. This is where she's been for the past decade, Caesar. She's mainly outside during yeah. the day. We bring them in at night. Yeah. And that's Logan next to her? Yes. I have to move slowly with Molly. She's not used to strangers, and I know she's had some aggressive incidents. To assess her mental state, you must carefully read her body language. And there is a lot you can tell from her eyes. So look, look at the eyes. See, so, so this is what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Like she's fixating? No, no, she's like. She's unsure. She's unsure. She's, she's a little bit in the tense part of it. Is, is that okay if I open the door? Yes, it is. I need to see firsthand what Molly does when a stranger steps into her space. So my energy must be completely calm before I meet her. If she senses any weak or fearful energy, that could trigger aggression. She's nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that bark that we're hearing right now is a nervous bark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A normal, normal, like strong bark is like boom, and then they pause, boom, and then they pause. Mm. Then you, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. The dog is just showing nervousness, uncertainty, confusion. A nervous, scared dog can be much more dangerous than an angry dog because they're acting out of sheer terror. She, she attacks because she's nervous. Mm. Okay. So this is your fear aggression case. Fear aggression. Okay. Yeah. So okay. she's more like a back of the pack. She's at the back? Yes. Got it. Hmm. When there is no leadership in a pack, a scared back of the pack dog often gets thrown into a role where they don't belong. That stress can cause them to lash out at the slightest provocation. Go back. It's critical that I immediately show Molly that I am in charge and that she can fall back into her more comfortable follower position. That's just nervousness. Mm -hmm. uh, send the back, send the back, send go, back. Go back. I mean, outside, yeah. outside. Outside, outside. Outside. Go, go. The family is clearly not respected by Molly. She seems confused that they're even telling her what to do. She's gonna continue to try to lead the pack in a dangerous way until the family begins enforcing clear rules and boundaries. Right now, she's well, gonna show a lot of confusion. Okay. Because they never had clear rules, uh -huh. boundaries, limitations. Okay. The humans do not represent leadership. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 